Hey, Mad Money fans, check the bottom of your screen for an exclusive offer. Next. Tough days do not last forever. But when they come along, you need to know how to respond. You need a game plan ready so you can figure out what kind of sell-off we're dealing with and then react appropriately. Because the early days of a decline are never easy to navigate. You need all the help you can get. To borrow a line from Tolstoy's fantastic Anna Karenina, all happy rallies are alike. Each sell-off is unhappy in its own way. It's true. Bull markets send stocks higher and everyone thinks they're genius participating because it seems so darn easy. Same every time. But big declines, much harder. They could be the start of a bear market. Or maybe something worse. Or they might actually be just a viable glitch. That's why tonight we're turning to history to illustrate some of the common qualities of sell-offs. So you know what to do the next time the market has an inevitable moment of weakness. Now, really, there have only been two truly horrifying sell-offs since I started investing over four decades ago. The one-day crash of 1987 and the rolling crash of 2007 to 2009. That was the financial crisis. Do you know what? Even the COVID crash, when the S&P lost uh, SP 500 lost 35% of its value in just over a month. That wasn't nearly as bad as these two, especially when you remember that the market started rebounding almost immediately. So let's deal with the two big ones head on because they make for great examples. 1987 and the financial crisis are actually polar opposites, although the percentage of clients are really pretty similar. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.